Climate change has in part escalated the opportunity for these storms to be holding more water and to have higher rates of rainfall over short periods of time. As a result, instead of infrastructure having to deal with two inches of rain over a longer period of time, it can now face two inches in one hour, potentially leading to subway systems flooding, drainage systems getting overwhelmed, or rivers overflowing. First, it's important to understand whether you are in a risk zone. Those on hills will have to prepare for what it would mean to be an island for a period of time. And those in low ground will need to be able to evacuate safely. Second, it's essential to have a go kit for either staying in one place for long periods of time or leaving quickly. Finally, assess where to get warning information in your area, like NOAA weather audio or other warning systems. The main advice, seek higher ground as fast as possible. Experts emphasize relying on local emergency response systems and understanding the messages that they are putting out, the evacuation zones, and the safest way to get out of risk areas. Experts also say to beware of water in general at these times, as even minimal amounts can sweep you off your feet. One expert says, if you don't know how deep it is, don't go in. After the storm passes, wait until the water recedes before attempting to leave your home, because floodwaters can contain dangerous debris. Listen in the aftermath to public officials through FEMA or other agencies who know which areas are safe and which are not, as well as which roads are open or closed.